Thinking about your object arrangement and alignment is going to be very important as you start to add more graphical elements and things outside of your chart to your spreadsheet. I mean, the chart itself is an object, and you even have to think of that. So as you add objects, those objects generally are always going to be on the top layer. Whenever you add a new object, it's going to be on the topmost layer. So this object, this graph, I added after I made the chart. So as I move the graph, you'll see it covers up the chart. If I didn't want that to be the case, I can easily change the location of the object inside the layer by right-clicking it and sending it to the back or bringing it to the front. So now if I send this to the back, you'll notice as I bring it behind there, it actually lives behind the chart now. And if that chart had some fill, you wouldn't see it at all. I'll bring this back to the front. Now you don't have to be quite so coarse if you don't want to. You can move an object one layer at a time. You simply select any object that you're going to work with, go to the Format Inspector, and go to the Arrange tab. And from here, you can move it backwards and forwards in layers. So that's actually possible as well. Now, let's say you want to go ahead and label some of these things. So I want to label which one of those is Studio A, Studio B. So I grab this text box and, up. Oh, it's behind there. So I'll right click and I'll bring it to the front. And now I've got myself this. So I have got it in front of the graph. I can label this one Studio A. Even though I have a legend, I might want to label it anyway, just so that it is quickly readable. Now, if I duplicate this and I make a new one, it should be ahead of this. I don't have to bring it to the front because it's the newest object. So it should automatically be there. Yep, there it is. So that's my Studio B. And then, of course, I've got my vocal booth making up 29% of the income this month. All right. So now that I've got those, I can start aligning things. So I've got some little text reminders there. Um, if I want to add some more, I'll just duplicate this and add another one. There we go. So if they weren't aligned, I could easily click and drag, and you'll see the alignment guide show up. So that little yellow line is aligning it by various things. I can align it to things above it, below it, to the side, everything. So if I want to line it up with the leftmost side of that text box, so the two text boxes are sort of justified together, you can see that it's pretty easy to do that. If you want a quick way to do that, you can just select a whole bunch of things that you want to align. Just simply right-click and align the objects. You can align them to the left, center, top, bottom, right, anything. So I'll align to the left, and there they go. Now they look good. So if I take those two objects together, they also can be aligned with the center of the graph or with the chart itself. So I'll align them with the center of the graph so that it starts to kind of live together with that. And now I can select all of that and move it and align that with the entire sheet. So if I move that, I'll see that eventually it'll pop in. There's the center of the sheet. So now my objects are really nicely aligned with each other. The whole thing looks sleek. It looks compact. No wasted space, but not too much stuff in one area either. So use those alignment guides and feel free to also right-click those objects and align them as well to really get them lined up and looking great. And don't forget that you're working with layers and you'll want to be able to move stuff to the front layer if you created it before something else and you're trying to get it on the top.